There's one last data technology to talk about. It's Hadoop, and it's really interesting. Hadoop is designed to process big data, which usually means large amounts of unstructured, that is, non-relational data. On Windows Azure, where would you store large amounts of unstructured data? Answer, blobs, Windows Azure blobs. Hadoop on Windows Azure assumes the data it's working with is in blobs. It then lets you process that data in parallel by running logic across multiple virtual machines. That logic is constructed as something called a MapReduce job. Hadoop defines the programming model MapReduce, which makes it somewhat easier to build applications that process large amounts of unstructured data in parallel. By spinning up lots of VMs, you can process data almost arbitrarily quickly if, in fact, the chunks can be processed independently. Hadoop began life and is still commonly used in on-premises data centers where there are no blobs. So Hadoop actually has its own storage mechanism called HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System. The applications running on Azure expect to access HDFS data. And so Azure provides the HDFS API on top of blobs. Hadoop also has other technologies. It has, for example, Hive, which defines a query language called HiveQL that's somewhat like SQL. It has Pig, which defines another language. All these languages generate MapReduce jobs. Writing MapReduce applications is not the easiest thing in the world. And so both Hive and Pig and other technologies exist to help make that easier. They let people create their data applications in other more natural languages and generate MapReduce jobs behind the scenes. To make this even easier, Microsoft has added support to Excel for working with Hive. You can now create MapReduce jobs indirectly from Excel through Hive and see the results. It gets even easier. When would you use Hadoop? Well, it's about big data. When you want to analyze large amounts of unstructured data, for example, log files from server farms, or information from sensors or RFID tags, or maybe clickstream data from web applications, or lots more. The reality is that Hadoop, an open source technology, has become the industry standard for working with big data. Making it available on Windows Azure makes perfect sense. In the on-premises world, you use Hadoop in a cluster, a physical machine cluster. It's expensive, you must administer them. In the cloud in Windows Azure, you could instead create Hadoop clusters from VMs and shut them down when you're done. The combination of Hadoop and a cloud platform like Windows Azure is a perfect match.